All right, hi there. Just wanted to show what's going on with the car PC these days, what I have going on with it. Um, pretty much the same install as before, some different software. Just turning on the key now. We've got a uh, wide band up on top there. I'm sorry, that's fuel pressure gauge. But it takes a couple of seconds to boot up. I just finished doing the cylinder heads on this. It's been a project that's a long time coming. But I'm liking the results. The only thing I have left to do is take care of the... Um, breathers get the breathers so they're being um, so the fumes are being sucked out right now I've got the tubes that are come out of the breathers running forward and just tucked under the nose of the car and it uh, it isn't working out too well it's getting fumes inside the car but I've got this set up to <clears throat> as soon as the car starts up to boot immediately into what's called the front end and the front end is what you control from and this one is called driveline and I like it very very much the guy that did this uh, is a professional programmer and he has done an excellent job so as it comes up, it comes right into my music. If I put the car in reverse, it'll switch out to the uh, reverse camera, which is looking right at the uh, garage door, so you can't see anything on it right now. There's the, uh, this is the mute and it's also the pause. On my touchpad, on the right hand side of the touchpad, I have volume control. So I don't even have to go to the screen in order to get volume. But if I choose to, I can do that. These green buttons on the sides always will go next track or they will go to uh, the next channel or whatever it is. I have to tell you 43 down here. Go up here to media. I've got Chicago that was playing last time. And it just picks right up where it left off last time. Kind of nice. Down along the bottom here, from left to right, we've got a clock that's just to the right of the uh, back arrow. This icon here tells me that I'm connected to GPS. This is for OBD information, which I don't have, because I don't have OBD. Uh, this tells me that the um, MP3 player, or the media player, is on shuffle right now. This tells me I am connected to the internet. This tells me that my phone is connected. And, uh, this one right here um, is a GPS speedometer and it also is a compass so it's kind of a lot of sweetness all there on one little dial anytime you want to go to the home page you touch the bottom here and it takes you back to the home page up in here are the tools <clears throat> you can instantly see the maps 
and if I was moving now, this A would be moving around and it would show me exactly where I am. And then it takes that information and one click takes you right to uh, your location with Google Maps and automatically adds the traffic on top of it. So you'll watch this will, these things are turning green now. So that's real nice. Before I used to have to click around and screw around with this thing while I was driving, which was obviously not ideal. So that works awesome. Uh, GPS information, it'll show everything and it's pulling down off of my GPS puck that I have in the back of the car. I actually have a working Bluetooth phone connection now. The only drawback to it is people on the other end can hear an echo of themselves while they're talking. So it's uh, it's not ideal. But it's still better than nothing and it's definitely better than screwing around with the phone while you're driving. You can even do voice dialing. But uh, the fellow that's doing this programming is working on it even though Bluetooth through a PC Bluetooth telephone through a PC is one of the hardest things that it seems like any of these coders have to deal with it's just a real tough thing to do but if anybody can do it I think this fellow who goes by the name of clockwork I think he can do it he's a pretty smart fella um, let's see moving across the top got a slideshow here which I don't really have any pictures on this yet but uh, if you click slideshow it'll just start going through whatever your uh, pictures are and start showing you those kinda nice I've got it going on the computer um, playlist this is where you load all your songs and like right now we're on shuffle selected right here I could choose whatever song I want to play next and just use a long click just hold down on that and you'll see it'll change and you'll get this little chevron off to the left hand side now this song is going to play next in the list even though it's going through a shuffle I mean that's just a cool feature that this guy did I could uh, star this I could make it a uh, favorite and then go back through and just play favorites stuff like that as you can see now Tequila Sunrise is starting because I selected that. Like I say, this guy just did a lot of nice little things that makes this work well. You can go here for directions and see where you're going to go next if you want to do that. I choose to use my Garmin if I was ever going to want to go somewhere with directions. And it's integrated in here just beautifully comes right up plays nice there's no problems with it um, let's see what else do we have in here my shortcuts well I've got my mega squirt and there's also a wideband oxygen sensor this is the indicator that shows the status of the oxygen sensor and then this is an actual readout that I can call up. And of course, Tuner Studio. The one thing about Tuner Studio is it is not embedding into this window. It pops up full screen, which is almost a good thing for me because it's so small. There's so much information on this seven inch screen that I don't know how useful it would be if it was in that little screen. But here's all the gauges that uh, Megasquirt shows, and then here's the wide band. Uh, this is uh, the barometric pressure through the map sensor. Um, timing, uh, throttle position, coolant temperature, on and on. So, battery voltage. And then there's a real-time stream that runs on the left-hand side here, which is kind of cool. And then if I want to get into any tuning, I can come up here and do it. And 
and then we get back to this. What else do I have loaded in here? You know, of course, there's some games, things like that, but that is pretty much the gist of it. And oh, we got a little speedometer too here that works off of the um, GPS. Oh, weather is always displayed, don't have to go searching for it. And if you want your forecast, you can come up here. And let's say you want a little bit more. Let's go for the uh, the radar picture. Just a long press on that. And wait for it. There's our radar. So, I mean, this thing is really well thought out. It's, uh, I can also hit the home page, go right back to Google. It just works really, really well. I'm very happy with it. So, just wanted to give you guys a quick look and show you what's going on. See ya.